a very common situation is that you found some loops somewhere else and you want to incorporate those into your arrangement and obviously those loops are probably not going to fit um, fit with the tempo that you've got in your song so let's have a look at this one so um, we need to create a track and um, we've got our left locator here for the time being let's import a loop so we're going to file import audio file and um, this is our loop our loops folder let's select the loop these is that's the sample rate of the file which is the same as as the sample rate that we're working um, in at the moment so that's okay we could play the loop that's the loop this is in case you've got lots of loops here and you need to find out which one you want to choose so let's just open this one and there is the loop depending on where the left locator is that's where the loop starts from and also the track that you've selected obviously um, our loop is um, about too early so we'll just pick it up and move it across reset the left locator and let's solo the loop and the loop is obviously too slow for our tune and let's compare compare it with the tempo of our tune so we'll switch off solo mute the loop we need the tempo to be up there somewhere now the only problem is that we don't know what the tempo the loop's got how can we go about it well we open the loop in the in the audio editor here's our loop and as you can see the loop um, goes all the way up until nearly bar 11 so by playing the loop we figure out that the loop musically goes over 8 bars this is bar 4 and then the same thing again so it's going to be an 8 bar loop which means I can switch, I can um, set the loop inside the editor for an 8 bar loop bar 1 and bar 9 so we've got an 8 bar loop, bars 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 let's switch on the loop as well now all we need to do is select this segment go for do and choose fit event to loop range now this window comes up and it gives you two options you can either adjust um, or make them match by changing the tempo if you change the tempo it would affect the um, the tempo of the song at the moment we're on 120 BPM and this would mean that the tempo of the song would be something else which we don't want because we've already got some audio material inside our song so what we really want to do is we want to make this loop here fit whatever we've got already so in this case we want to adjust the audio material of this loop so we'll just hit on audio create and it created a new file, did the time switch, not sure whether you could see those little windows and um, and here's our new loop as you can see it matches our 8 bar spec that we give it and let's play the loop on its own and you can hear it's already a bit faster, let's see whether it matches the tune now But there is another, a much, much quicker way to, to time stretch material. I'll, um, I've got my track set up again here. And um, like my, my tune, I get a new track. Let's say, um, go for a mono track for the time being. We'll import another file. Same as before. Now this time we're going to import Synth Loop, synth loop 2. This is what it sounds like. Let's just open it. Here's the loop, and if we play the loop with the with the other tracks, let's just make sure we've got a nice channel here set up. Let's go for channel channel seven. We can hear it's a little bit too slow this part here. Now here's the trick. I select the um, 
stretch tool and um, select the part and just make it fit and let's check out the result <laughs> stretch tool is very very versatile. If you for example wanted to um, wanted to half the the speed of this part then all you need to do is get hold of the arrangement and just make sure that you've got the window at the very top there. Can you see it next to part colors um, and it says 200% at the moment so let go on 200% which means this file will take twice. Let's check it out. <laughs> See, it changes up to two bars now. And obviously you can hear that, um, that the quality of the file has gone down a bit. If we, um, yeah, this is the, the window that I meant before. If we take this one down to, let's say, 75% of the original length. Let's process something again. Play it. And then reprocess it again back to what we had in the first place. Let's check it out again. You can hear the quality is going down there. every time you do this break, you lose a bit of the quality. So you have to be careful how often you use this um, tool on, on the same audio material. Obviously you can use it as many times as you wish on different parts and if you do like the um, distorted sound then you can do it and actually could, um, use this tool lots of times to actually create this um, distorted sound. By the way the tool also works on MIDI material and to show you I'm going to set up a MIDI track. I'm going with some piano sounds. I'm going to record these on 8th notes. As you can see, I've also um, set the quantize setting to 8th notes and I'm using auto quantize. And I'm just going to record a 4 bar loop. Three, four. And if I use the stretch tool again, I can just get hold of it, 200%, and let's play it back again. You can hear that the melody is a lot quieter than I am. Sorry, slower. And if I go down to 75% of the length, Obviously MIDI information can be stretched as much as you like and you never ever lose the quality whereas audio material um, loses the quality each time you do this, this step so you have to be, as I've said, a bit um, careful of how often you do it. Now before we finish the work in the audio editor we've got two more elements or two more features that we need to look at with Cubase and um, the first one is up here, I'll start with the drum loop We've um, cut the loop before um, according to where the marker points were um, but this time I'd like to cut the loop in a different way and I'll show you what you can do with the with the loop. But let's start with a clean clean um, audio editor for the drum loop. 
So I'll select all of these and and delete the um, the segments that we've got. Open the um, audio pool. Make it a little bit smaller. I'll move it down to here. Make sure I'm at the beginning of my audio. So I'm open. I'll open up the drum loop. Get hold of this one and drag this one into the audio editor. So it starts at the beginning of the bar. Obviously, this one is slower again. It's on 88 BPM. After updating the, the picture here, you can see that the drum loop now is a bit too long. So I'll pick up my stretch tool again and just go for this bit here. That should be fine. Let's play the track again. It's in time with the claps, but we don't need the claps, of course. Okay, now I'm going to go into the audio editor again. 